A high-profile train ride is putting San Diego County's coastal rail problems in the national spotlight tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maya Trabulsi. The U.S. Secretary of Transportation got a first-person look at the erosion along the railroad tracks in the North County. And KPBS North County reporter Tanya Thorne is live in Solana Beach, where the U.S. Secretary of Transportation arrived just moments ago. Tanya? Thanks, Maya. That's right. We're live outside of the Solana Beach train station where U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg is paying San Diego a visit today. He just got off a train ride from Old Town to Solana Beach where he learned more about the cliff erosion impacting our coastal rail lines. Heavy rain, rising sea levels, and shifts in the ground are all contributing to the erosion of the cliffs under the tracks. It's been an ongoing problem, but it got so bad in San Clemente that train service has been suspended between Oceanside and Irvine. Emergency repair work is underway. It's expected to cost $12 million to stabilize those cliffs and reopen the rail line. That work is estimated to last until the end of the year. Here is what Buttigieg had to say following his train ride. Well, really what we have to do is uh, make sure that the timetables of government and construction start bending to meet the timetables being set by physics instead of the other way around. And certainly uh, having now had a chance to see for myself just how few feet stand between uh, these rails and, uh, and the bluffs and, and the beach, uh, you can see how little room for, for maneuver, so to speak, there, there really is. And you know, Maya, bottom line is that these coastal rail lines need to be relocated, but there's no concrete answers at the moment for this project. And some of the questions looming are where it's going to go, when, and how much the project is going to cost. Live in Solana Beach, Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.